In this video today, I'm going to show you how to modify this welder right here. Okay, we've got one of these little MIG units, MIG-130. Technically, it's not a MIG. MIG stands for Metal Inert Gas, and these are flex core only. No gas. So it should technically be called a FCAW, Flux Core Arc Welding 130. Anyways, this thing runs on 110, 115 volt. And it's got an on off switch here. And it's got four different settings. So you've got a one minimum maximum, and you've got a two minimum maximum. So let's go ahead and set this thing at our max and max. And we've got our, our gun here as you can see and we've got our work ground here so let's try this let's see if this thing can stick well we'll pull this end off there's actually not a contactor in here and this end is always hot so let's just go ahead and clamp that right to the table and let's take a 6013 rod 6013 rod is a great beginner rod it's really easy to weld with and we'll go ahead and just clamp that right into our, our ground Okay, I've got a small piece of 3 16 plate. I just grabbed that out of the scrap bin. All right, you saw it was stick weld in there. Problem is the rod was fitting in here a little bit loosely. So let's try this. Let's see about adding another clamp in here. Okay, I was able to get that to fit in there nicely. Let's try that. That just popped our breaker. So let's see what the weld looks like. I don't know, I feel pretty good about that. Let's try welding two pieces together and see what we can do. Okay, we've got the side cover off of our welder, and this is the power to our MIG whip and what I've done is I've stripped back the insulation and I've added on this wire splice but what I'm going to do just to demonstrate that this is going to work is I'm just going to clamp on a stick lead Now these beads are a little bit cold and the machine is set on its maximum output currently. So a quarter inch, probably a little bit much for this. 3 16 plate. This is just some old dirty plate I pulled out of the scrap bin. And you know what, I'm not even going to clean it. And let's see if we can get these to weld together. Again, you can see we didn't even bother to clean the mill scale off this.
So it's a little bit rough, a little bit inconsistent, but you know what? If you had a quick repair on something, I think that'd work. Okay, this is what's called a DENS connector. And these are the half inch versions. And this is a male female matching set. As you can see, these twist and lock into here. And then on the back, we've got a mounting stud. This is our ground lead. Let's go ahead and loosen this clamp. So let's push that back and we'll nip this right here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to add on an eyelet. Pull this through and we want to get rid of this clamp here also. Now I drilled this hole here. When you're drilling these holes through this case, make sure your machine is unplugged and any type of metal shavings that get on here, blow them or vacuum them out. You do not want metal shavings on your circuit board shorting it out. I'm going to pre-bend these to 90 degrees. Now if you wanted to get fancy, you could definitely solder that connection. And this fits right in. I don't even have to modify the hole. I just got a short little jumper wire here and I've already added here on my MIG lead a split bolt. Now these are made for wire splicing and I picked those up at my local home supply. All that these are is an actual copper split bolt with a nut that goes on top. It just clamps your two large gauge wires together and it's perfect for a situation like this. Okay, let's gently fold that around and we'll get that attached into the other DENS connector. We want to be very cautious not to break any of these small wires in here, especially if your unit is older and has been used and those tend to get a little bit brittle. Now as a final precaution, you should put tape over that. Just wrap it up really well with some electrical tape. You don't want to run the risk of any shorts. Okay, now we've got our cut up ground clamp here with no end on it. So what you're going to do is slip that through. These DENS connectors have two grooves on them that correspond with two grooves that are inside of the plastic housing. All right, for flex core welding now, we've got our normal ground and our gun. And we use our stinger whip. Now this was a fun and very affordable project, but please understand that this welder is not ever going to be on the level with any of these welders back here. It's not ever going to do any heavy duty work. 
Basically, what you've enabled yourself to do now for less than $10 is go to the local welding shop and look at all of the stick electrodes and anything that can run from, let's say, 60 to 120 amps on alternating current, you've now opened up the ability to run those.